This video is for licensed and trained HVAC technicians only. Do not attempt any of these procedures on your own. Call the professionals. Hey guys, it's Eddie. Today I want to shoot a little video on clogged up condensers. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to block off my condensers. I want to hook up the gauges and look at the pressures. I want to measure BTUs. I'm going to measure wattage output. I want to see what the efficiency is before and after. So let's get started. Alright guys, I wanted to get this base for you. Right now we're at 13 degree superheat, 10 degree set pull, 121, 320 my pressures. Uh, 41 indoor pull, 100 degree outdoor pull, 54, 55 degrees suction line, right at 89, 90 degrees on the liquid line. So, let me, uh, I'm going to write all this stuff down so we can record it. this out so that we'll have this to compare to later on. See the print. Okay. Print. And print. Alright, we'll compare the readings. Alright guys, right now we're pulling right around 2400 watts. Got that clamp, clamped around that old two, and I've got my alligator clips working on this one. I'm sorry. All right, and it's getting me right around 2,400 watts. This is on the clean coil. All right, guys, I've got my coil blocked off with a tarp. So let's see what the what effects it has on my pressures and my BTU output. Okay guys, this has been running for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes like this. I'll show you the difference now. Now my pressure is at 136 over 530. 6 feet, 7 degrees. Alright, my line temperature is 56 over 128. And my condensing temperature, my evaporation temperature is 47 over 138. Alright, so I'm going to write these down. Actually, I'm going to print these out. Single print. Print. They're all on one paper there, so we'll be able to compare them. Here's the watts. Uh, we're at 3,200 watts right now. I haven't changed anything. Still clamped the same way. Nothing's changed. So 3,200 watts. It's gone up a whole lot. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and go downstairs and recheck my airflow, which I know it's going to be the same. But I want to get my BTU output, so it's going to measure temperature, humidity, and everything, or whip up. So let's go to do that and see how that affected. Alright, so here's the readings before also. Uh, if you look here, my CFM 1080, my BTU is 35,989. So right at 36,000 BTU and 1,080 CFM. And these are all my temperatures. These are indoor values. Alright guys, this is the readout. I uh, started off at 36,000 BTU and now I'm just a little under 19,000 BTU. Uh, you know, then blocked up condensers causes a lot of problems. Alright guys, these are my pressures and temperatures before and after. Alright, so I've got the outdoor unit and I've got the uh, indoor unit, what it was doing. And I, and I just converted it all to paper here so it's a little easier to read. So on my low side, the before my pressures were 121 before. 136 after. My evaporating temperatures is my coil temperature indoor. It was 41 degrees before, 47 degrees after. My line temperature was 52 degrees before, 56 degrees after. And my superheat was 10 degrees before, 
eight degrees after. Now this is a TXV system, R410A. All right, so this superheat's gonna be adjusted by the, the TXV, so it should maintain right around 10 degrees. Now, on my high side, this is where you're gonna notice your problems when you have outdoor issues. My, before, my pressures were 327. Now they're 529. They're always going to go up with the uh, clog condenser. My temperature was 101 and now it's 38. Now on a 15 sear, 16 sear, what you want to do is you want to add 20 degrees to your outdoor temperature and that should get you roughly what your condensing temperature should be. So in my case right now it's 81, so if I add 20, I should expect 101. Now if I, had, if I added 20 and I saw 138, that's way too high. You know there's a problem. All right, my line sets, uh, the high side was 90 degrees before, 120 degrees after, and my subcooling was 11, 9 after. Now my performance, this is what I measured inside. My supply was 53 degrees before, 59 degrees after. Return was 72 degrees. CFM was measured about the same. BTU output, this is what's going to get you. We're at 35, all right, at 36,000 BTU before. After, we was at 18,700. That's a significant drop, guys. Watts, we're at 2,400 before, 3,200 after. I mean, that thing's, that compressor's really pulling them pulling that electricity. My EER value is 14 before, 5 after. So if you had a unit that was clogged up like this and you were able to clean it out and get everything working properly and you would were to take a report like this in to show your homeowner, tell me they wouldn't be calling you back the next time. So you know just a simple little test. It takes about 20 minutes to do this maybe. Alright, but I think in the long run, if you just take the time to, you know, just do these things, you're going to be benefited in the long run. Alright, thanks for taking the time to watch this. Alright guys, I went ahead and took this one step further. I want to see what the total system is going to be. So my blower, when I measured my blower watts, is 180. So when I added that to the equation, it dropped my EER value one point here, so it's running at 13.7. It didn't change it a whole lot on this side. It's running so bad anyways, it couldn't change it a whole lot. It's running at 5.5. .5. So if you figure it in your blower and everything, I'm running at right about 13, almost 14. So I just wanted to throw that in there real quick.